presentation now, which will hopefully give you some idea about what the uh, the film school is about. Um, so we do we offer two courses: the foundation degree and in film and television production, and the BA honours in film and television production. They're both delivered by USEN, which is the higher education part of uh, the Manchester College. And the courses are both validated by Manchester Metropolitan University. So the degree qualification which you get at the end will be awarded by Manchester Metropolitan University. But this is not the Manchester Metropolitan University course. This is USEN Manchester. OK, so you enrol at USEN. You do your first year at Manchester Film School on the foundation degree. Then at the end of that, you progress to the second year of the foundation degree. Um, and at the end of the second year, you will have the skills and the knowledge which you require to get work in the film and television industry. And you can leave at that point with a foundation degree, which is a nationally recognized award. Um, but something like 90, 95% of the students choose to stay on for one more year to do the BA honors top up. So all three years take place at Manchester Film School at USEN. Um, but the first two are the foundation degree and the third year is the BA honours. OK, and at the end of that, you have your graduation ceremony and you get awarded a BA honours from Manchester Metropolitan University and you go and throw your hat in the air and do all that sort of stuff. OK, so there are four main strands to the course. The first is film. And when I say film, I mean proper film, feature films. Uh, this is an ex-student of mine, the guy on the left, not the kid on the right. Um, Chris McGuire, he's a Steadicam operator. He's gone on to work on Terminator, Godzilla, Harry Potter, Pitch Perfect, Jason Bourne, all sorts of stuff. He lives in LA now um, and is a really highly respected uh, A-cam operator now. OK, the second strand is TV commercials, uh, TV adverts, basically. Uh, this is Phil Taylor, another ex-student. Um, he's done commercials for Nikon, Sony, Ford, Mazda, Dyson's, Tenants, you know, loads and loads of big brands. Um, what's nice about commercials is that apart from the money you get paid on them, they're short. Uh, they tend to be shot over sort of four days at a time, whereas a feature film is four months. So it's a very quick turnover um, and it's short, sharp, creative stuff. It's quite interesting. Um, but a lot of people who work on commercials go on to work on feature films. The two are very closely linked. OK, the third strand is music videos. This is a, um, always a popular one with, with students. It's a strength of Manchester, the whole, the whole music scene. Um, this is Joe and Kyle, who are um, now form of the Grandmas. You can check them out online. They've done some amazing music videos. Grandmasdirectors.com. Uh, they've been awarded at uh, British um, uh, Music Festival, Aesthetica Encounters, UK Music Video Awards, Rain Dance, London Short Film Festival, all over the place. Uh, the picture on the right is quite interesting. It's a set that's built in the studio. You can see the, the dance is actually on the wall because the set was built at 90 degrees and the camera was set at 90 degrees. So he's actually lying on his back on the floor. But music videos uh, are a good opportunity to do uh, wacky stuff like that. And the final strand is factuals. Um, in factuals, we do documentary and social media. So that's that's content for um, well, social media, all of the, it's evolving about as quickly as it could do. Um, so that's the fourth and final strand. OK, um, this is uh, Bled, who was an ex student of ours. He is now a freelance editor. He's done commercials for Audi, Bosch, Lego, Asda, Virgin, Lexus vehicles. He's done stuff um, and it's been uh, awarded at uh, the New York Film Festival, uh, Independent Advertisers Film Festival. He's done stuff all over the world. Um, a very experienced editor. Editing is a, is a big part of the course. What we don't do on the course really is special effects. We have a sister course, um, which is in uh, computer graphics and animation. Um, so our course is, is mainly covering uh, film editing. OK. Um, Probably about half of what we shot is shot on location. This is an example of a location shoot involving, as they usually do, a, a dead body or somebody who's been attacked. Um, but we then take you to, into hospital. Um, this is a set that was built in the studio. It was entirely, this is entirely fake. 
and everything you see there was was constructed in the studio and this is the wide shot of the studio where you can see uh, the set in the background uh, with the crew gathered around and the other crew sitting in the foreground. Um, all of those crew are working to internationally recognised uh, crew roles. Boom, focus puller, operator grip, loader, spark, gaffer, mixer. And in the first year, we introduce you to each of those roles. You get a chance to uh, experience them, learn about each one of them, so that at the end of the first year, you'll be in a position to choose one of the roles. You'll say to me or one of the year tutors, I've had a go at all of them and I would like to be a focus puller. And you then spend the next two years working as a focus puller on work experience, on placements, on jobs, on student shoots, you'll do technical exercises, doing anything you can to build up as much experience, as much practical experience as you can as a focus puller or a grip, whatever you decide to do. Um, there is a small amount of written work which needs to be done. You need to write reports, you need to keep a journal, you need to write reflective journals about your experiences. But the majority of it is spent, the majority of your time is spent you working to your trade, your role, your what's going to be your eventual job, hopefully. OK, so those are all the jobs around the outside. OK, one of the major uh, features of the course is the set building. We have a 3000 square foot dedicated studio where we build sets more or less all the time. This is a, a spaceship which was built uh, a couple of years ago. This is the final background coat before the colour goes on. Um, and you can see the, the, the airlock door in the in the middle of the picture there. Um, this is a big studio, a, a big shoot, sorry, involving uh, a cast of about uh, seven. Uh, the set building crew was about 14. It took them about three weeks to build, but it looked fantastic on the camera. OK, this is another set. This is a, a 14 seat Japanese restaurant. You can see the bar and the left hand side, the uh, entrance behind the, the sparkly lights, all the tables, the toilets out to the right. And behind us, behind the camera is a, a kitchen and an alleyway where the uh, one of the characters keeps nipping out for a fag, which is all part of the, the storyline. Um, but this was a big set. Again, it took about three, three, four weeks, a crew of about 14 people building. Everything you see there was built in the studio. The screens, the backdrop, the lighting, the ceiling pieces, the bar, everything. OK, um, a major part of the course is placements. Um, we get something like between 600 and 1000 days of placements each year working on everything from um, TV commercials, music promos, feature films. Um, there's, there's not a lot shot uh, around the Northwest, which we haven't had students on. Um, these two students on the left, left hand side are, are working on a, um, a short feature with uh, Craig Feather, who's the DOP for Shameless. Um, on the right, we have Jo, who was uh, on the right there. She's uh, working as a script supervisor. Um, and that put her very closely in contact with the director. And he said at the end of the day that he wanted to uh, switch the roles around. So he took Joe off continuity and put her on camera. And she turned out to be one of the best operators we've ever had. I think a complete natural. She just framed it right every single time. Um, she hadn't operated before, but she'd been through the technical sessions so she knew what to do. When asked to step up, she was just able to do it. Uh, she did a great job. OK, uh, we have our own dedicated van. So um, after a script has been approved, uh, the equipment is uh, prepped, uh, loaded into the van. It drives to the location, you take all the equipment out, you set it up, you shoot, then you wrap, you load it all back into the van and then take the van to the next location. It's how commercials and short films are shot. OK, um, this is an example of a location shoot set in a, a circus tent. It's about a, a couple who fall in love and love to join the circus, I think. Um, but you can see the crew around there. There's about five or six crew there. And then if we spin around to the other view, you can see the rest of the crew. Uh, two camera shoot for us, which is 
unusual. Uh, most of the stuff we shoot is single camera. Um, but the camera on the left in the foreground is a, a high speed camera to catch the fire eater. Um, on the main camera, which is on the right hand side, being pushed by the student in the white T-shirt, uh, there's a student called Alex Hollerbread, who is focus puller. Uh, Alex has gone on to work on, um, on Peaky Blinders, um, uh, Comfy. She's worked on, with um, Shane Meadows. She's done all sorts of stuff. Um, OK, and this is the full crew for that circus shoot. Um, you can see there, there are about uh, four or five cars uh, dressed in the stripy outfits. The rest of it is crew. Um, and that's what we specialise in, large scale, large crew, industry standard filmmaking. Um, the circus then there was um, organised as part of the shoot and erected in the, it's actually in the college playing field. Okay. Um, awards, we've won uh, 10 Royal Television Society Awards in the last seven, eight years. This is uh, Lucy and Amy winning uh, a double award um, a few years ago. That particular award went on to uh, London, where we competed against uh, something like uh, 350 entries from 75 universities and came second, which was great, but not good enough. So we went back and beat them all. Um, we beat 495 entries from 90 universities across the whole of the UK to win the best award for cinematography. Um, there you can see on the uh, left, Zoe was the uh, director of photography, Ollie in the top was the writer, Faisal on the right was the editor, and Lauren in the middle was the producer. And there was a crew of about 35 behind them making it all happen. OK, we've had students who've gone on to the National Film School down in Beaconsfield, um, widely regarded as probably the best film school in the world. Um, and this is a selection of films which our students have worked on over the years um, in a variety of roles, uh, filming all over the world, I think it's fair to say. Um, so, you said is the higher education part of the college. We are Manchester Film School who operate in Newsend. Uh, film and TV production is named the course, Jim Granger, that's me, and that's the course code. If you want to apply, put that, because if you don't put that, you'll go somewhere else. Um, and this is a uh, list of all the Royal, whoops, the Royal Television Society Awards, which we've won uh, between 2013 and 2020. Okay. Um, the course is assessed continuously through a series of practical projects. The emphasis, is on, the emphasis is on learning by doing, that is making films. You could summarize it, summarize it by saying in year one, you learn the roles and choose one. In year two, develop your specialism and experiment. Year three, put it into practice and get work experience. Um, at interview, we are looking for reliability, that's punctuality and attendance, commitment, hard work, enthusiasm, visual awareness, teamwork, and 80 UCAS points. All applicants are interviewed by me, the director of the Manchester Film School. Okay, this is a list of uh, random interests, hobbies, pastimes, uh, skills which you may have. I put that up because each one of them has a equivalent job in the film industry. It's important to film, think of the film industry in the broadest possible terms. Don't think it's just about camera or about sound. There is a need for all sorts of people with all sorts of skills, and we will give you the practical opportunities to develop those skills appropriate to the film industry. Okay, this is a summary sheet of some of the awards and festivals which we've won over the years. Um, and um, yeah, well, you can, you can see those from Los Angeles to San Jose. OK. Hi, Jim. Just to let you know, we'll be starting the Q&A session shortly. OK, perfect. I'm very nearly finished. Um, OK, this is a top shot of that hospital shoot. Um, you can see the hospital beds down in the foreground um, and the crew, the camera crew on the camera on the dolly, the grip, spark, director of photography. Um, also on that slide is uh, all the entry information, my email address and a link to uh, a selection of our films on YouTube. And penultimate slide is uh, from left to right, 
uh, Alex Hollybread poking her head in the corner there, Marika Mokolsky in the middle, and uh, Amy McIntyre on the right. This selfie was sent to me by Alex. She said, look who I've just met. And she's basically just met Marika and um, Amy on the ferry on the way over to Northern Ireland, where they are shooting Shane Meadows' latest feature film. Uh, Marika was A camera, Alex was B camera, and Amy was script supervisor. So three MFS graduates running the show in my book. Um, OK, and finally, there is a shortage of graduates for the film and TV industry. This, this is a surprising uh, statement to make, and you wouldn't think it was true because it's not. But that is. And that is what we do. OK, so that ends the presentation. Uh, I'll see if I can get out of this without completely messing it up. Uh, I'll quit that. And um, are there any questions? Thank you, Jim. That was brilliant. Uh, we have had a number of questions come in, um, so we'll get started. Uh, so one question here is, how soon after starting do you get to work on set? Um, last year, it was week one. Um, the first project was to build a set um, and then you light it and you uh, put some action in it and then you do some photography in it and you shoot some stuff. Um, it's, uh, it's practical. You start working on the set in the first couple of weeks. We just today, I'll show you some clips in a minute. We've just today finished uh, 24 monologues, which started in the first week of term back in September. And the first years were working as assistants to the second years who were working as crew, who were working to heads of department who were running the show. So you get to work very soon. OK, thanks for that, Jim. Uh, what experience do the teaching team have? Um, they range from uh, working on high end feature films through to uh, community stuff. Uh, I myself, uh, I'm not, um, I haven't got a very uh, big history in the industry because I've been in education all the time, but I use uh, freelancers and experienced staff who've worked with uh, Danny Boyle, Shane Meadows, uh, Ken Russell, um, they've worked on um, um, Bond films, we've got the aerial operator from Alien, um, what else, ha Harry Potter, uh, I think, yeah, um, the Olympics, Skyfall, This Is England, The Muppets, uh, Downton Abbey, Bond, Codfeet. Um, yeah, they've worked on all sorts of stuff. In the first year, when you're introduced to um, each of the roles, you know, Grip, Gaffer, Spark, Best, First, um, we get freelancers in to teach you how to do those roles. So they're not taught to you by uh, academics like me, people who just run the course. They're taught by practicing freelancers. So those are people who really do the job day in, day out. OK. Thanks for that, okay. Jim. Uh, another one here. What equipment do we work with? Um, well, everything we have is industry standard. We have um, uh, Ari Alexis. We have um, uh, the lenses are Zeiss, Nikon, um, Lomos, um, the sound gear is all Sennheiser. Um, it's all industry standard. If you take um, our dolly, which is uh, uh, the Ellie Mac, which is um, the dolly is what you put the camera on when you want to do a, a tracking shot. Uh, that actual dolly was used on um, the Pierce Brosnan Bond movies and um, uh, Gladiator with Russell Crowe. So it's, it's industry standard gear. OK, fantastic. I mean, thanks, Jim. Uh, another one here. Can you choose to specialise in one or two things in the second and third year? Yeah, absolutely. You should do. At the end of the first year, you, you'll you come to uh, me or a member of the staff and say, right, I've tried everything. I thought that job was dreadful. I never want to do that ever again. I can't imagine why anybody would want to do that job. But I really, really want to be a focus puller. And you then spend the second and the third year practicing as a focus puller. 
you develop a mentor-mentee relationship with second years and third years and freelancers who are focused on us, and that gradually over the second and third year builds up your confidence, builds up your experience, and builds up your contacts so that you can then use those contacts to get work in the industry. Um, you can choose more than one specialism if you want, um, but it's a bit like saying, I want to be a footballer, but I'll do a bit of tennis as well. It's not always a good idea. Uh, you can swap at any time. You can start off saying you want to be a focus puller and then change to be a, a spark. Um, but if you do that, you've got to get your skates on because you know time is running out. OK, thanks, Jim. Uh, another one here. When picking a specialist, are there less opportunities for people who would like to become a director? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, funnily enough, um, one of the um, interesting things about the film school is that we take a very, very wide range of people, ranging from you know one extreme to the other. So it means that we we manage to fill all of the jobs. We don't have fifty people who all want to do the same thing because everybody comes from a different background, different levels of experience, different ages, different cultures, different countries, different nationalities. And they all have different ideas and different interests. So we managed to spread people around. Uh, so that's not been a problem. Of course. That's okay. great. Thank you, Jim. Uh, another one. What are your expectations for COVID's impact on this course? Yeah. Um, well, we've been, um, I'll, I'll, I said I'd show you some clips. How long have we doing for time? Yeah, um, we've been um, filming, we've done. 23, 24 monologues so far this term, and they've all been filmed in line with the British Film Institute skill sets COVID filming guidelines. So basically the industry is filming, so we're doing the same as them. We're working as if as if it was the industry. Let me get um, one of these videos up. Uh, one top uh, let's have a look, see if I can get this to work. Um, I need to share my screen with this. Are you seeing that? Car park? I can't say I am, no. No, okay. Let me stop sharing and open the share again. Thanks, Jim. Is that working? Yeah, with me? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. OK, I'll just put that full, full screen. Um, so this is a shoot. This was today down in the car park um, at the college. This is a mixture of first years, second years and third years. And you'll see that they're all standing two metres apart. They're all wearing face marks, face masks, um, and they're all gelling their hands. And that you can see that tutor with a cap and a big stick. <laughs> he's using that stick to enforce the two meter uh, rule and um, the only people who are, who are standing close together are standing together for a short period of time they will move on. You can see uh, Bailey is on the camera, he's a second year um, and the, uh, the, the, anti the, the guy with the antisocial club uh, sweatshirt on just to the right of him is the actress. She's doing a monologue um, because the actors can't get close together, uh, we've been filming monologues, so it's just one actor filming at a time. So that's a, uh, an idea of what it's like to be on set. Um, I'll show you while I've got this working, I'll show you um, wide shot first take. Yeah, this is a similar sort of thing that in a studio. This again was shot this morning. So at uh, all morning we had this sh this shoot going on in the studio and the, the last one I showed you going on outside. So you can see um, in this shot uh, the lighting grid, the uh, student with the yellow hat on is marking it, which is just clapped there um, and you can see the boom up in there and you can see again one actress sitting at the table, that's a chessboard she's got in front of her. Uh, I'm moving in slowly here which is an absolute cardinal sin, I'm surprised I didn't get shouted out for this. Um, but you can see, if I pause it, you can see the uh, the actress there, the camera operator is hunched down with his back to you, the boom op uh, holding the boom, 
the grip is the uh, one at the end of the dolly. You can see the, the two wheels, that's the dolly, and that's the grip standing at the other side. The guy on the right hand side with his arms folded is the director. Uh, the head down on the bottom right hand corner with the headphones on, watching on a, a small screen, that's the continuity script supervisor. Um, and off the screen on the left is the sound department. So that's the students in the studio today. But that again was a set built um, for the, specifically for this monologue. So there have been 24 sets like that built uh, since the beginning of term. And the first years have been involved in a lot of those. Any other questions? Yes, we've had a few more. Thanks for that, Jim. Uh, how many people do you take on a year? Uh, this year we took uh, just over 50. Um, but you're divided into groups of about 14, 15, and you're taught in groups of 15, because that's the size of a crew. I mean, the picture you're looking at now, you can only see about eight or nine of them, but there'll be uh, other students standing around doing other things. Um, so to all intents and purposes, you're a team of 15. Great, thanks okay. Jim. Uh, another one here. Are sets available to rent for our own films? Um, not to rent for your own films though, no, but if you have your own film, um, you develop it as a college project and then we'll all do it, you know? I mean, we don't um, get these scripts for these films in from anywhere else, they come from the students. So somewhere through the, uh, halfway through the first year, all students develop a script. Um, by the end of the first year, those scripts will be ready to go into production. In the second year, we'll put probably a third of those into pre-production and midway through the second year, we'll start shooting them. So, uh, no, you can't rent the, the sets for your own films, but you can make your own film one of our films, if that makes sense. Perfect. Thanks, Jim. Uh, and our last, last question here is, do you have any tips for our applications to this school? What would you like to see from prospective students? Yeah, um, commitment, determination, enthusiasm, reliability. Um, I'd like to see creativity, uh, uh, passion for storytelling, because everything about film is about story. Um, even you know factual stuff, it's still about story. Um, an interesting character in people, uh, uh, psychology, you know, what makes a, a character a baddie and what makes a character a goodie, all that sort of thing. Um, I'm interested in um, people who can write, uh, people who come up with ideas, uh, again, story. Uh, they're interested in uh, composition, lighting, painting, music, anything really. Um, as I said before, the, the film industry is so broad that if you have a passion, we can probably find a job for it in the film industry. You'd be surprised. Fantastic. Thanks, Jim. Uh, that brings us to the end of our questions, actually. Uh, I should say, if you would like to see some uh, behind the scenes, uh, some of our work, when you, you can head over to our YouTube page, and that is actually in the chat box in the Q&A function. Uh, have you got anything else you'd like to add, Jim? Yeah, if, if you go there, you can see the video, which I didn't show you at the beginning. Um, it's probably if, if you go to our um, YouTube site, uh, it's YouTube Film TV, it's on the, on the chat, um, then there's a folder of, of films in there called Behind the Scenes. And probably looking at the Behind the Scenes is going to give you a better idea of what students do than anything else. Um, and you'll see how intensely practical it is. OK. OK, thank you, Jim. I think that brings us to the end. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh, that's me. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Um, so thanks for joining us this evening. We do have more events, including future U student support drop ins running until Thursday. So please do visit our website, usenmanchester.ac.uk forward slash online open days to register for any other sessions. If you would like to apply to USEN Manchester for 2021, please visit our website, which is usenmanchester.ac.uk to find your future course and hit apply now. You can also find us on UCAS by searching, U, excuse me, USEN Manchester. 
All this information is in the chat box and we hope you have a lovely evening and thanks again for joining us.